How's it going everybody? Zippy here from Zippy Does It. Uh, this is part three of my pond build. So, as you can see, I got another layer of timbers painted and uh, ready to set on top of the other ones. But uh, first, before I do that, I did get the big dig completed. Um, had some help, got it all done in one afternoon, and uh, we're now down from the bottom of the wood to the floor is 33 inches, and then the wood up is going to be 27 inches, so that'll give me a total of a depth of about 60 inches, 5 feet. So now I, uh, Looks like I gotta probably come in here and level this out, um, take some dirt off of here. This is where the filter house is gonna go. So I gotta level the ground out here. And then also I gotta install my bottom drain. So I gotta dig, dig a little ditch into that and dig a hole into the corner for the piping to go up. Um, so that's probably my my next job is uh digging that hole for the bottom drain and getting the ground over there leveled out so i think that's my job that's what i'm gonna do and uh if you're curious there's all the dirt from the pond so it really really leveled out the ground back here um i just gotta compact this dirt all down now so it's a lot of dirt a lot of dirt so anyways that's my next job so i'm gonna get it done zippy fast how's it going guys i'm here inside the pond and uh well oh i gotta fit my koi toilet into a hole make a trench go over here somehow dig into that and come out over here where the sieve filter is going to be so as you can see i've already started to level the ground at where my filter house is going to be um still need to do a little bit more digging so about right here i need to dig down I think 30 inches and a two foot by a little over like 18 inches by 24 inch hole to fit the sieve filter into that to get it to the right height. Um, so hopefully by digging down and yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> fun getting that bottom drain filter in. I mean, I can't even, my arm isn't even that deep to reach down. To dig that hole that deep so eh, i'll figure it out so anyways that's my next job i also got a i got a pretty slight concave on this floor um haven't really really measured this floor to see how level it is or anything but i need to make it all concaved in towards the bottom drain so i'll be working on that and then uh yeah, I gotta go off to the hardware store and pick up some PVC pipe fittings and 3 inch pipe and all that fun stuff to connect this all up. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, <clears throat> here's a little quick update on my progress. So, uh, I've been uh, getting the trench dug for the uh, bottom drain. And also been to and from the uh, hardware store, getting plumbing, the little bits and pieces to connect this all together. So I decided to go this direction. And then I'm going to put the uh, sieve filter inside the filter shed. Um, just all my filtrations together. So I'm working on digging the hole for the bottom drain and the sieve filter so it's gonna come through here the bottom drain should come up right here and then the sieve filter I'm gonna have to 
dig this a little bit bigger. The C filter will go there. It'll then connect over here to the drum filters, which will then go along this. And this is all going to be a filter shed. And then I'm going to run the return over to this side. Probably put the return through here about 12 inches deep. I'll do a T-section. Run it all the way down. And then probably come through here. Because I was thinking too with this T-section I might feed some type of aquaponics up here. That then gravity feeds back in. I mean, that'll probably be at a later date. But for now that's it. And then my skimmer will go about right here and then it's going to come right into the filter shed and then i'm going to so this is all going to be a wall right here so then i'll put a backy shower up here so you can't see it so it'll be inside and then the backy shower i think i want to do something like one of those kind of a a big curtain water flow back into the pond. I think that'll look pretty cool. So that's the plan as of today. <laughs> um, and that's my progress so far. So working the bottom drain, working the sieve. And uh, yeah, all right. Catch you on the next update. All right, guys. So I got the uh, bottom drain ditch dug out bottom drain and piping cut and uh, got the them dry fitted in their hole so they run to the corner and then come up in here and I don't know if you can see down in there but they're down there so I'm gonna get these guys uh, solvent welded together Put them in place and then uh, get some cement ready. So, see you back in a few. All right, so now we are going to uh, solvent weld our bottom drain together. So, if you've never solvent welded before, it's actually quite easy. You just got to know uh, what you're working with and what types of glues to use for each plastic. So, these are the products I'm using. So you have the purple primer. This kind of just gets a primer on the plastic, gets it ready for the glue. If you're gluing PVC to PVC, that's the white pipe to white pipe, uh, you'll want to use the red hot blue glue. Um, if you're going ABS to ABS, you'll want to use uh, a black ABS cement. And then if you're going from ABS to PVC, you'll want to use a transition cement um, for those connections. So with all of uh, your pipes, you want to make sure you clean them with like a degreaser. So I'm just using a multi-purpose uh, cleaner degreaser just to clean the surfaces. And then you can also use sandpaper to roughen up the uh, areas that will be glued. And then basically all you do is you just put a little bit of the proper glue on the connections and uh, you push them together and they do set quite fast. So you just want to get them in and make sure they're um, seated in the right direction. A good good method to do is like put, put a marker mark so you know if your pipes are facing the right direction. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, so my first step is uh, I'm going to get my pipes cleaned and uh, pre-sanded, and then uh, I'll show you what's next. All right, so let's get her done zippy fast.
All right, so all my surfaces are pre-scuffed, so um, I cleaned them, wiped them off. So now I'm gonna go get a marker so I can put markings on exactly how I want them to uh, line up before I glue them, and then we'll get them glued. All right, so now I have all my pieces. Let me show you. I have all my pieces pre-marked with the lines exactly how I want them, except I missed one. There we go. Got those marked, got those marked. All right, so now all I wanna do is uh, using the proper glue for each connection is uh, undo them, put the glue in and let them dry. So I'm gonna give this one quick look over to make sure it looks right before I start gluing and then we'll get them glued. All right, so the final connection I'm going to do on the floor just to make sure that the bottom drain and the upright, the 90 elbow are perfectly level. So I'm going to do it on a flat surface. So yeah, those are perfectly level. It's all glued together now. So <laughs> I hope I got it right. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. So I got the uh, bottom drain all solvent welded. It's in its little hole. Um, got it pretty well level. Yeah, that'll, that'll get leveled when I put the cement in. And... Got the pipes in. Got that one cap. That's, that's going to connect to the sieve filter. And the white one's the air line. So, alright. Let's get some cement made up and uh, get this thing cemented in. All right, guys, we got the concrete in. So I'm gonna let that dry for 24 hours. And then uh, my next trick will be, uh, I'm gonna have to add in soil back into here to kind of level it out and make a kind of a, a bowl shape going in towards the bottom drain. So that'll be my next task, but I think for now, that's probably enough in this video, so please make sure uh, to subscribe if you want to continue watching the build of this pond. 
and uh, I definitely appreciate the people who have subscribed um, so stay tuned for the next one so this is Zippy with Zippy Does It and Zippy out